I mean, I'd like to live in a society, if I were making policy, right, but this is just me having traveled all over the world, I think a humane situation and one that respects women's need to control their own bodies, and their own reproduction, which categorically I believe in, is, is Europe's where um, abortion really is, you know, the, the, after, the morning after pill is readily available to women everywhere for free. It really is. And failing that and condoms and, and free con contraception are available to everyone all the time for free. This is not a little thing. I had my commentators on Daily Cloud who are in their 20s talk about a bill that would make them pay for um, condoms and contraception on college campuses. And a lot of even middle class and affluent kids really can't afford to have contracepted sex. It's really expensive, you know? And so- I, I'm know, sorry, I can't, I can't, this is maybe, I respectfully can't go with you on that pre premise. You can get condoms for 25 cents at a truck stop and you can get countless generic birth controls for under $14 at Walmart. Really? Yes, my really? wife works at a crisis pregnancy. There are so many options. This is why there was the outrage with Hobby Lobby. They were offering, offering I think, 16 to 18 covered forms of contraception. They just didn't believe in the abortifacency. I, I, I don't believe that, I don't believe that uh, if you're having sex in 2018 and you can't afford or know about contraception, that it's because of, uh, it's from it's from a lack of trying, especially seeing women who come into these crisis pregnancy centers. Most of the time, it's just sexual irresponsibility. Statistically, no, I, yeah. I respectfully, you would have liked my essay because I really do believe that we all have to be responsible for using contraception, male and female. Yeah. But where feminism it would be helpful to you right now is I think you're not grappling with the fact that a lot of women can't get their partners to put on condoms. And no, I don't think you're right that women can find reliable contraception for $14, you know, or it's $14, you know, a week or every two. Let's weeks, round up to 50. Let's round up to 50 a month. What, but why are we making it up? If we know that the pill can cost more than that, we know that... We know um, that the pill rate... can cost thousands of dollars, depending on what you're using. And we know that the pill can be as low as $4 or $8 with generics. You can go to Walmart right now and get a generic birth control pill for eight dollars. Twelve, if I'm being very, very generous. You need you need a doctor to prescribe it for you, and a lot of women can't afford to see doctors. Look how many Americans don't have medical insurance. Yeah, fifty dollars cash, fifty dollars to go see a cash doctor who can prescribe it, and uh, very, very inexpensive. I just don't go. I just don't go along with that argument. People tend to be sexually just like I don't go along with absolving people of responsibility. If you're with a guy who refuses to toss on a rubber. I believe that a woman should be responsible enough to not be with that guy. And I believe that guy is a germ. He should be responsible enough to put on a condom. She should be responsible enough to make sure she's not with a guy who refuses to put on a condom.